Loading and unloading a roll-off container can be kind of tricky if you've never operated one before. Safety is always the main concern when working around hydraulics or any other equipment. In this segment, we're going to demonstrate the proper way to load and unload a double rail trailer. Loading a box onto a roll-off trailer. The following information contains guidelines for operating the roll-off trailer. The comments are not intended to exhaust every possible situation that could arise while operating the hoist, but are intended to promote safe operation. Professional drivers, this segment will deal with the proper way to load a box onto a roll-off trailer. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to be very aware of all the safety issues and take extra care and precaution when loading or unloading a box. Before beginning any task, our drivers always remember to don the proper PPE, personal protective equipment, to help ensure safety while on the job. The first thing our driver does is to connect the hydraulic hoses that are on both sides of the trailer. It is important to make sure that you have a good seal on both hoses as this will make your job so much easier. When our driver gets back into the cab and begins the PTO process, that will charge all the hydraulic equipment. Next, our driver will align his truck and trailer with the box to be loaded using his mirrors and rear tires to ensure that the box will slide up on the rail properly. It's always best practice to get out and look and make sure that the box and the rails are properly lined up. This will save you lots of time and make the job much easier. Once the task has been completed using the valve controls, lower the rails until they are touching the ground. Then, with the wheels and the rails aligned, connect the chain from the trailer to the hook on the box. Make sure that this is done properly. Again, let me stress how important safety is. At the end of the day, you want to go home to your family safe and sound with no injuries. Then, back the truck and trailer up to the point that the wheels of the box and the rails are just touching. This can take some getting used to, to get it done precisely. But with practice, you'll get better. Now with the chain properly attached to the box, head over to the valve controls and slowly activate the cable pulley so that the cable begins to tighten and pull the box onto the rails. Once the box begins to climb onto the rails, it is time to start the process of lowering the rails in conjunction with rolling in the cables keeping as much of the rails under the box as possible. Take this nice and slow. Maintain proper balance. Once the box has climbed onto the rail and the rail has been lowered to the trailer, pull the box forward a bit and then change the chains from the pulling cable to the securing cable. Remember to always use three points of contact when mounting or dismounting equipment to help prevent the chances of falling or injury.
Next, install the stops on both sides of the trailer. These stops act as both a stop as well as a securement for the box as it is pulled onto the trailer. Then pull the box all the way to the locking stops. These stops also act as securement devices for the front box. At this time, if everything has been done properly, secure the box to the trailer using the straps that are located on both sides of the trailer. Once this operation has been completed, do a full walk around to check for any potential problems. Once you are satisfied that everything is secured properly, then and only then should you move the truck and trailer to a proper place to complete any ensuing paperwork. If you follow these techniques and always remember to be safe, you should have no problem loading or unloading a box.